Hi Legends, this is Wingston and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to increase your frame rates in Apex Legends for your PC. This guide is for people who want to get more frames out of their low-end systems or if you have a problem of fluctuating FPS even on a medium or a high-end system while multitasking like streaming or recording your gameplay then this video is for you. As you can see, earlier my game experience wasn't that great. And while streaming, my FPS was always fluctuating between 19 to 120. But a little tweak in different settings not only got me more frames, but also helped me cap my FPS at 144 and keep it stable even in intense teamfights. The topics we are gonna cover in this video are In-game video settings, video config file, autoexec.cfg, Apex game launch options, some basic NVIDIA control panel and Windows settings. We are gonna go through each one of them step by step. Also talking about what the tweaks actually do, it might help you set your game according to your specific PC and needs. Most of it by losing some irrelevant graphics. So let's right, jump right into it. We are going to start with the in-game video settings tab and to make it easy for you, I've set everything to default. On top, you have the display mode, the aspect ratio and resolution. I prefer to keep them as per my monitor's native resolution and I would recommend you do the same. Same goes for your brightness and field of view but the low field of view can get you more FPS. Again, it's up to your preference, how much you wanna squeeze out of your PC. About adaptive resolution, FPS target, we are gonna leave this for now and come back to it later. Press everything will be minimal, low or disabled, especially if you have a low end PC. Texture filtering will be bilinear. If you have a decent graphic card, you can keep your texture streaming budget and texture filtering according to your preference. For example, I have an RTX 2060 6GB graphic card and I need decent graphics while streaming. So I have kept my texture streaming budget on 4GB and texture filtering on 4X. Now we are gonna make some tweaks in the video configuration file. To open the video config file, press Windows plus R and copy and paste this directory I have, which I have put in the description which will bring you to this folder. After opening the video config file, you'll see there are a lot of options in there. To keep, to keep this easy for you, we will be only talking about the settings which I have tweaked with and leave out the rest. We'll start with Ragdoll Self Collision setting which will be 1 by default as you can see. We don't need that so change that to 0. LOD Switch Scale is the model detail settings which by default is 1. Change, change that to 0 0.35 if you have a really low end PC. I have kept it to 0.6 as that works best for me. I would not push it any lower than 0.35 because it might make spotting enemies harder at a distance. Next towards the bottom you have CSM enabled which basically controls all the shadows you get in the game. So change it to 0, it's gonna create a major impact. And finally let's take a look at the DVS underscore enable setting which will be 0 by default. You know that adaptive resolution part which we skipped earlier that's connected to DVS. If you have a potato PC set this to 1 and the min and the max GPU frame time also to 1 and 1. This forces your game to run on 50% resolution all the time. If you have a decent PC you think you can get 120 FPS constant Let's say you are getting 90 FPS right now and you think you after these tweaks you can get 120 FPS constant. Set your min to 7949 and max to 8200. And for 145 FPS, set the min to 6592 and max to 6800, which is what I have done. Once you are done with the video config file, save it. And this part is important. You need to right click on it. Go to properties and set the file to read only. Otherwise, all the changes you have made will be overwritten when you launch the game. Once you have set it to read only, do not change any of the video settings in game. If you really need to change anything later, you need to come back to the video config file and turn off the read only option before making the changes. Else it will not take any effect. So the next step will be creating an auto exec file. To do that, you need to open a fresh notepad and write the following commands mat underscore diffuse space 1, mat underscore post process underscore enables space 0. Now save the file 
naming it autoexec.cfg in your origin games folder apex cfg folder if it's already there just replace it next go to your origin my game library in that apex settings and then game properties click on advanced launch options type in these commands these commands can also be found in this video's description so you can just copy and paste them dash novet command is to eliminate the video you get when you launch apex legends then there is plus exec auto exec file for the auto execute file you made earlier dash refresh and here put in your monitor's refresh rate mine is 144 dash preload dash force no vsync plus fps underscore max according to your preference if you think you can get 120 fps max put it one put to 120 minus 144 don't forget to hit save before closing go to nvidia control panel next in that manage 3d settings go to program settings then select apex because you don't want to mess with other games video settings if you if you can't find apex in programs click on browse origin games and select apex in these settings we are gonna start with image sharpening which is gonna be off then filtering again off fxa is also gonna be turned off most of the settings are gonna be turned off or disabled but will go through each and every setting anti-aliasing mode will be application controlled anti-aliasing setting will be set on global transparency will be off gpu now select your gpu or if you have two gpus select both of them low latency mode will be off max frame rate will be off multi frame sample will also be off open gl gpu again select your gpu power management which we always prefer at maximum performance and refresh rate will be will be application control shader cache will be on if you have the game saved in your ssd or if you have a normal hard drive just turn it off texture filtering will be off negative lod bias will allow that quality will go on high performance trilinear optimization will be on threaded optimization will be off triple buffering will certainly be on off and vsync the important setting will definitely go off pre-render frames will by default be one and will stick to that next will be some windows settings go to windows type msconfig and then press enter this window will pop up then go to services click on hide all microsoft services and turn off everything you don't want to start with your computer now open task manager go to startup and disable a bunch of things you don't want if you have discord on your pc open discord go to settings select appearance make sure you turn off hardware acceleration as that is going to give you a big fps boost do the same with google chrome go to settings scroll down to advanced settings you'll find an option of hardware acceleration turn that off it's on by default if you have spotify or soundcloud do the same with them after that go to windows type in this pc go to properties select advanced system settings and then advanced tab hit settings click on custom and you want to basically copy the settings i have done and that's it for now if you hadn't done this before especially the video config file you should be able to get at least 20 to 30 more fps if you think this video was helpful, drop in a like and tell me about it in the comment section. If you like to watch Apex streams, make sure to sub. I stream every day from 1 to 5 pm IST on YouTube. See you there and have a good day.